here we are again or still I should say well I have to apologize I haven't really been um, uh, filming every single process um, we're going to here but it's just so much to do guys and um, end of the day um, I'm here to do the job and uh, filming is um, not priority if you know what I mean but um, I try to do my best and uh, and uh, catch up here so uh, as you can see the lake itself it's pretty much done it's no seal left in it it's completely cleaned out there's a tiny bit to do on the far side uh, where the river comes in but we're still waiting for the water levels to equalize with the river um, once it happens we will get back in there and chuck there it's only a day work or so um, the field itself as you've seen in the previous video we got a new dozer there and it's a D6, D6M lovely thing uh, lots of power production etc etc loving it all good so I pushed most of the field out where we tip the seals uh, I would say about 70% of it is pushed out dry enough to go on it with a dozer the rest still need a bit of time um, the boys are uh, loading up some topsoil from the topsoil pile we made there uh, and um, tipping along the bank so this side of the bank there this side curves back that's done I done that yesterday we tipped the top, lots of topsoil there I pushed it out leveled it off the boys are tipping from the other to the other side of the lake so we're gonna get that done before the rain we're trying to anyway we get the soil there and even if we just you know pack it down watertight for the time being but it's there ready to go um, after the rains clear uh, yeah the weather forecast doesn't look good for the rest of the week unfortunately as you see um, the other day I cut the bank rough cut the bank out here uh, that was much wider uh, it still need to be cutting a bit more but you know first you rough it out get rid of some material so you see where you're heading um, sort of thing uh, and at the same time the top pond which was a secondary pond that's all done now uh, the boys are doing some brickworks there overflow and here now we're doing an emergency secondary overflow um, it's gonna be a bridge here um, with the concrete base and as you can see it's quite wide we're digging a base so it looks deep now but it's not gonna be that deep at all once we got the stone in a base in a concrete it's gonna come up a quite, uh, quite a bit um, so uh, yeah there's a lot going on still need a bit of work with the bank still have to marry that bank up to that bank so that bank have to marry up with that but we got our pipe in there and the water runs out there at the moment so we have to wait with there until we're ready for taking the actual pipe out um, yeah heat drama still works we got one heat drama left here um, taking topsoil around nice and steady we got our 9 10 dumpers on the side
the boats are uh, working on it there. You can see the, roughly the shape where it is. And um, while they're doing some bricklaying stuff, I'm doing this bank. The bank is too steep and short for a dozer. There's just a lot of trees in the way. Um, so we gotta do it with a digger. I gotta spread it with a digger anyway. So Robbie's ahead of me, running, roughing it out and tracking it in behind me and uh, I'm just shipping it up with uh, this one. Today, as a Ford stoned in, ready for shuttering and get some uh, wire mesh in it. And gets a lot of steel in it. You're gonna do that. We've got some ex some bonds there, temporary, to stop the runoff from the field to flood our working area there. So it goes straight into the pond. There's a far side bank, probably still on it. I did this side with the dolls there, but it's just too shallow there. And I enough room for the dolls there, so that's all bigger job really. So yeah, done some of that. Probably back on that tomorrow on the far end. It looked pretty good all the way down. That place is huge. 
absolutely huge. So um, that's it for today and I keep you guys updated.